I would love if we could be honest and rebrand singles events as the truth, which is a perfect place to meet your brand new platonic best friend. Men don't go to these. Men do not go to singles events. Stop paying money to go to singles events. Men don't go. Stop it. So I have to cancel the singles event that I planned to be on my farm this weekend. Y'all know I'm an event planner and I have a fish farm and I advertised a fishing for love event where singles could come here and fish and have dinner and meet each other in person, not on a dating app. And five women RSVP'd yes, and one man. And even the one man that did RSVP did it through one of the ladies. Now I did all of my marketing specifically towards men because I knew that the women would RSVP. I promoted the event on 45 different Facebook groups specifically about hunting, fishing, camping, country life, and all local to my area. I know that my post reached over 12,000 people specific to the age group, the gender, and the interest that I just described. And yet, no man RSVP'd. Singles events were once envisioned as vibrant gatherings where individuals could organically connect and potentially find their romantic partners in real time. These occasions were designed to facilitate meaningful interactions, fostering an environment where men and women could engage in genuine conversations and enjoy each other's company. However, in recent times, the landscape of these events has undergone a notable shift, leaving many disenchanted with the experience. Unfortunately, a concerning trend has emerged wherein the essence of these gatherings has been distorted by a series of dynamics that have deterred men from participating. One of the primary concerns revolves around the perceived imbalance in the interactions between men and women. Rather than fostering an atmosphere of mutual exploration and understanding, some women have been accused of monopolizing the conversation, turning these events into platforms for self-promotion and self-congratulation. In the days, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. It might be on the first date, it might be the third date, whatever. It right. could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they're waiting, it's the third date, fourth date, a week later. He hasn't gone in for the kiss, he doesn't do any touch or anything. And I've asked my dude friends that are single, right. and they are like, you don't know where a woman's gonna go with that story, where I ain't touching nobody. And it kind of, it sucks, because the Me Too movement is so strong and so so powerful for the people that need it, but it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationship. To be honest, I'd rather just be a little lonelier than deal with all the hassle of dating. I'm really not in a place emotionally and financially where I can deal with sorting through a bunch of misses to find a missus. Nowadays with dating apps, there's always something new and more exciting just around the corner. So many women I've dated have abruptly broken things off because they found something more exciting. Dating is like taking on a part-time job. I don't have the time or the energy. I'm sure all of you can relate to that. Social media, Hollywood, and porn have really altered the expectations of the general public across the board when looking for a mate. It's actually really messed up psychologically when a person thinks about it. Specifically, unrealistic expectations are held by people who conveniently hold themselves to extremely low standards but feel entitled to the best. More specifically, unrealistic expectations are held by people who act like victims when they're confronted with equally high expectations. Many modern women are rewarded by society for their bad behavior, act like entitled selfish princesses, are high maintenance but low reward, lack any sense of accountability, and a lot are feminists but not feminine. The worst part is they're all delusional about their true relationship market value. Of course, the real true keepers out there, they're hard to find rare, and even harder to get. There's a lot of competition for them. It's no wonder men are choosing to stay single, but is staying single the best option for you? Instead of engaging in meaningful dialogue and fostering connections, these gatherings have devolved into arenas where women flaunt their achievements and revel in self-adulation. This shift in focus has left little room for genuine connection or mutual discovery. 
alienating many men who seek authentic interactions. Furthermore, the atmosphere at these events has been tainted by instances of ridicule and mockery directed toward men, exacerbating feelings of alienation and frustration. Rather than fostering an inclusive environment conducive to open communication, some women have been accused of deriding men's emotions and belittling their experiences. Such behavior not only undermines the purpose of these events, but also perpetuates harmful stereotypes and exacerbates gender tensions. As a result of these concerning developments, many men have opted to avoid singles events altogether, opting instead for alternative avenues to meet potential partners. The once promising concept of singles events has been tarnished by a series of negative dynamics, leaving many disillusioned with the prospect of finding meaningful connections in such settings. If these issues are not addressed, the viability of singles events as a platform for genuine connection may continue to erode, further exacerbating the challenges faced by those seeking romantic relationships. Hey girl, what's up? Hey girl, not the much. What's up with you? Girl, I'm chilling. What's going on with you? I heard about your last online dating uh, experience. You did? Mm hmm Yeah, girl. Mm -mm -mm. Crazy. Yeah. I think I'm done with these dating apps. Mm, I feel you. Well, I actually have an event for you to go to tonight. For real? Mm hmm Where is it? It's gonna be at my church. Uh -huh. What? Not girl, here. why? It's no. gonna be a lot of single dudes there. Lies. Uh, I am not lying. I'm for real. No, I ain't messing with you because the last time you invited me to your church's singles event, it was all women there. Uh-uh. Girl, <sighs> might as well have been a ladies' night or something. We had a good time the last time, remember? What I remember was that we spent half the time praying for husbands when the husband uh -uh. should have been there that night at the event. No. You're I'm being dramatic. Doing... It was a few dudes there. It was three guys there, and two of them were there with their girlfriend. And then the other one was there with his wife. It wasn't that bad. I'm telling you, it's going to hit tonight. Several disgruntled women are considering demanding refunds for the highly anticipated singles event they attended, which ultimately proved to be a disappointment. Despite weeks of preparation, including meticulous outfit selection and flawless makeup application, the event fell short of expectations as it lacked male attendees entirely. Frustrated by the absence of potential partners, these women find themselves disillusioned with the event's failure to fulfill its intended purpose. Instead of mingling with eligible men, they found themselves surrounded only by fellow attendees and organizers, resulting in an evening devoid of the anticipated romantic prospects. The absence of men at singles events has become a notable trend, leaving many women feeling let down and questioning the efficacy of such gatherings in facilitating meaningful connections. Single events where singles go to meet other people are the worst because that's pretty much just the leftovers and the completely hopeless people that have zero values and zero standards, you know? <laughs> they just go there in hope that they find someone that they can date. You know, single groups, single Facebook groups, single markets, dating apps, like all of the things are where the singles with no standards go to and never get anything. That's the worst place to meet high quality woman. And that's why I do not go to those mixers anymore. When you go, it ends up being nothing but women. And to those men that like to say you can't find women, you can't approach women, you know, they're there at these mixers. It's a beautiful, successful women who are making a conscious effort to put themselves out there to meet someone. And before you start hating, oh, there's just a bunch of women that can't find nobody. And there's a lot of people out there that can't find anybody. Young, old, black, white, rich, poor. These women are actively putting in the work to make themselves available. That's right. Guys, you really don't even have to spend money at these events. Fellas, start signing up for these events. Start going to these events. I like these events because it makes it easy to approach someone and it makes it easy for someone to approach you. Classic stuff. I'm putting this out there because I want to start going to them again. Just sign up for them. Just sign up for someone and it makes it easy for someone to approach you. That classic stuff. I'm putting this out there because I want to start going to them again. Just sign up for them. Just sign up for them. Men's dwindling attendance at singles events 
can be attributed to several factors, one being the perceived expectations placed on them by women in attendance. These women often approach such events with a sense of urgency, driven by societal pressures to settle down, get married, and start a family within tight timelines. For them, finding a partner isn't merely about companionship. It's about fulfilling practical needs such as financial stability, emotional support, and relief from the stresses of daily life. This utilitarian view of relationships can be off-putting to men seeking genuine connections based on mutual respect and shared values. Additionally, many women at these events may not embody the traditional roles of wives or partners that men seek. Some may have experienced failed relationships or divorces, leading to doubts about their suitability as long-term partners. Despite this, they still expect men to adhere to traditional gender roles while simultaneously rejecting the notion that they should conform to societal expectations themselves. These discrepancies in expectations create a sense of disillusionment among men, leading them to question the authenticity and viability of finding meaningful connections at single events. Some men view attending such events as a sign of desperation, preferring to pursue relationships through more organic and genuine means. Ultimately, this disconnect highlights the need for both men and women to reassess their approach to dating and relationships. Instead of viewing singles events as a last resort, men should prioritize self-improvement and confidence building, while women should focus on fostering genuine connections based on mutual respect and shared values. Only then can single events regain their appeal as platforms for meaningful interactions rather than desperate attempts to find companionship. That's all for today on Alpha Male. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications. You can support the channel by becoming a member or sending a super chat. Share your thoughts in the comments. See you tomorrow.